Oh my god, Aaron. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. No. You guys, I have a special guest. Hello, I'm sick. She's also Lauren, and you should follow her on Instagram if you're here. My name is Sick Powell. <laughs> she agreed to shoot this video with me. If you clicked on this video, you know. We're gonna be testing out all of the McDonald's hacks and food combinations that we could find on the internet. Also, Twitter came in clutch with some awesome suggestions. Also, the chef, the official chef of McDonald's, chimed in with a couple of awesome combinations for us to try out today. I'm so curious. We might gain a lot of weight at the end of this video, so like and comment in the comments. Curves are in. And Brace your McDonald's body. We're gonna hit up a couple of McDonald's. Look at the order. We're not gonna do it at just one because I don't wanna embarrass ourselves. It's so big. I know. So we're gonna tear up the town, hit all the McDonald's in Los Angeles, and try all of these hacks and food combinations. When have you ever been so concerned about embarrassing yourself? It's <laughs> a good point. There are two breakfast items. One is the McCrepes. Hotcakes and fill them with fruit and yogurt from a parfait. Okay, or a hotcake, okay? One yogurt parfait. Uh huh. And do the keto. Keto? The keto, uh, keto sandwich I was telling you about. A McMuffin with an, a double egg patty, and then take the buns off. And a McMuffin? With double egg. With double egg? So you want more, like the sausage McMuffin and the egg egg, or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm also gonna get the Mc1035, which is like a big pile of like lunch and breakfast food together. The which one? The Mc1035. Mm, can you say that again? Yeah, the Mc1035. Okay. You got it? Mm, no. It's is like a or what? it's a it's a combo of the McMuffin and the McDouble. Right now we still have like seven more meals for the lunch. Okay. We start doing at 10:30. Okay. That's okay. Can I have a um, iced coffee, please? And can I also get a Coke? Medium or large? A medium. Okay. And a hash brown? Okay, that's it, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna make a McCrepe. Okay. Uh, it's a very small parfait. Parfait? Perfect. So here's a general McDonald's tip that you guys told me about on Twitter. I put a whole like call to action on Twitter for you guys to tell me all of your favorite McDonald's hacks. Someone said you can get a real round egg versus the yellow flap egg, which by the way, they both are real egg based on flap my- Flap egg is just a name <laughs> that I did not need to hear. Flap egg? So what are you doing? You're taking yogurt. You're blocking it, move that hand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just want this fun fruity filling. Actually, this is a really good idea. Does it look beautiful? Mm, it looks really pretty in person. Okay, so do you eat crepes like a sandwich usually? <laughs> yeah, you made it a, a hamburger. You need to make it a burrito. <laughs> I really love burgers. Oh, oh. you see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I feel like the syrup might be like a little overkill. Yeah. But it really does taste like not bad for you. I think this is delicious, but I think you should eat now. Are you hungry? You said you were hungry. I'm starving. All right, let me hold the camera. So I think I did this incorrectly, but the way to make this low carb, I think is to obviously remove the bun, which is the best part. I'll eat it later. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is take the eggs and make the egg the bun. Oh, I see. This yeah. is so keto. Yes. Okay, this is really hot. Ow. Okay, so there is my low carb McMuffin. I'm curious. Yeah, it tastes like sadness, like everything that's healthy. I don't know that I would come to McDonald's for my like keto food, but in a pinch. It's 10.35, you guys. Literally right there, you can see it, 10.35. <laughs> We're gonna go back. <laughs> These people are gonna hate us, and I'm gonna order the Mc1035 and see what this is all about. Okay, I'm back at the same. Oh my gosh, I'll see what happens if you can say Mc1035. Hello, Mc1035. Something different. Uh-oh. Hi, um, I'd like to see if I could order the Mc1035. What's one? The Mc1035. It has, it's the uh, McMuffin and the McDouble combined together. Uh, we don't have that, ma'am. You know, just give me a McMuffin and a, McDou and a McDouble. They hate me. You should have gone to a McDonald's far from your house. Thank you. Oh, she definitely hates me now. I consulted the official McDonald's chef before I did this video, everyone. I went online and I asked him, I was like, look, I know you create all these recipes for McDonald's. Are there any that are your favorites? So Chef Mike from McDonald's says you should get the fish o fish, the, no, the filet o fish sub Big Mac sauce on it or a double cheeseburger and add a breakfast sausage patty to it. So we're gonna try the double cheeseburger and add a breakfast 
sausage patty. Uh -oh. Isn't that what I have already? Oh. The Mc1035. Oh. So maybe he says the Mc1035, but he doesn't call it by name. So apparently if you go to McDonald's at 1035, what's that sweet spot between breakfast being over and lunch starting? Second breakfast. It's a, what? Second. That's what I call second, that's second breakfast time for me. 1035 is second breakfast time? Mm -hmm. That's cute. It's basically like a lunch sandwich with a sausage patty in it. So that's what I have here. It cost me $7. Should I do both patties? Should I just put this in the middle? Oh. So that we don't waste any <sighs> of that? <gasps> that is a hangover item if I've ever seen I one. I mean, this is, if you're hungry, it's like, a, this is the way to save yourself. Oh, here she goes. Uh oh. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. I actually kind of like it. The sausage gives it a little spice. I'm gonna take one of the buns off. It was just a little too girthy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. There's nothing I don't love. <laughs> How many McDonald's can you name in LA? Mm -hmm. Like where they're located? Yeah, they're cross streets. Well, there's one on Ventura and Woodman, or right around the corner. So that's in the valley? Yep, in the valley. There's one here, which I don't want to give the location because it's so close to my home. Guys, go to my Instagram. I will give away Aaron's address. <laughs> but you have to like my photo and follow me and then comment on the photo and then I will DM you her address. But like, what would they do when they got to my house? You know, it's like, why would they even want to come over? I'll tell you where the windows are that aren't <laughs> locked. Location number two. I'm good, thank you. Can I get a grilled cheese, actually? Uh, two burgers, all you need cheese? Just uh, two buns and some cheese, so grilled cheese. Oh, okay. Um, okay, and then can no, I... No, because no onions, nothing, right? No, just, just cheese in the bun and okay. grilled, grilled cheese. Okay, um, and then can I get a cho a small chocolate milkshake? And then can I get a shot of espresso in that? Uh, one second, let me ask you. Okay. I thought that guy was trying to pee in the bushes. I I mean, can't you just say, well then just give me the chocolate shake and an espresso, a shot of espresso and put it in yourself? Yeah, I could say that. If I was smart, Lauren. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be so upset. Okay, it's one dollar more, it's fine? Uh, that's fine. Okay, anything else? Uh, yes please. Can I get the, um, McGangbang? McChain? McGangbang, it's the McChicken and a cheeseburger. Oh. Okay, so you want chicken with beef? Yeah. Chicken and beef, right? Yeah, chicken and beef. How many? Just one. And can I have an Oreo McFlurry? <gasps> and then can I get it with hot fudge? And then can I have an apple pie? One less one. Can I just get a regular cheeseburger with a steamed bun? Like the one for the fish sandwich? Okay. These people behind me are very upset. I need to take a sip of Coke really quick. I just need to calm my nerves. Okay. I'm so nervous ordering these <laughs> weird so nice. things. If you're watching this and you've ever worked at McDonald's, comment below <laughs> if you actually get a kick out of orders that are a little strange or if you really hate them and you just want to go about your, your day. That's probably the answer. So if you're like me and you're obsessed with ketchup and you have it laying around in your car and all the cracks and crevices, like literally there's like a whole labyrinth of ketchup here. So if you're like me and I like to drive and eat fries and ketchup simultaneously, it's not very safe. And what I usually do is I'll open up a pack. Let me just show you what I do. This is embarrassing, but it's very true. So I'll open up a pack of ketchup. I'll just tear the little corner and then I'll literally just drive and like just put as I drive and just and usually I get all over myself and all over my face but that's how I do it but apparently there's a hack that will help us so this little flap on your McDonald's french fry holder you can peel it back supposedly it gives you like a little platform for your ketchup to live on but now I'm actually really impressed okay ready that hack works yeah that was awesome can I show you how I eat ketchup yeah. and fries how do you eat ketchup and fries? Okay, so here's what I do. You gotta like shake it up because it's, you know, it gets watery. And then I go like this. Oh, the side. And so then you have a little ketchup <gasps> pouch. Oh, oh my gosh, Lauren. And then you just dip it. Like that. That is genius. Who taught you that? I don't know. When I used to walk around Walmart, when I was in 
North Carolina, and they had they had McDonald's at the Walmart, and you're walking around shopping, and you need you want to eat your fries and your ketchup, and so you like that. That is actually, I think, better than this one. Well, it depends. That's really good, you know, because you have all your fries. I still, you can do it all in one hand. Yeah. You your fries and your ketchup in, in one hand. This is a little more like there's work. Anyway. Okay, so Kelsey said we should do a Oreo McFlurry with hot fudge. Oh, this looks so good. I'm and apple pie in it. What? So we ordered an apple pie. Oh, put an apple pie in it. You want to mix chocolate and apple? Yeah. It's like candied apples. Oh, that's true. You no. Know? It's a little full. Do you have to like eat it? And I, think, then... I think you have to eat it down. Mm. It's a little chocolatey. It's a little too chocolatey for I you. will decide. Mm -mm. Not too chocolatey. Here we go. Apple goodness. Wow. It was so, so good. I didn't think chocolate and apple were gonna go together until you said candied apple and you were right. This is delicious. This, this came from is... Twitter. Kelsey is like, Kelsey, you my girl, Kelsey. This is so good. So this was the chocolate milkshake with the shot of espresso in it. And I love espresso. It's like one of my favorite food groups. So I think this is gonna be a good thing. Okay. That's really good. Because the coffee there is really strong with coffee, like I actually feel like this is stronger than the cold than brew. This. Wow. Like I almost feel like I should have gotten this instead. I mean, you can see it on the bottom. It is dense. Wow. That is like a shot of espresso. <laughs> Time to move on to some savory treats now that we did dessert first. So I ordered a grilled cheese. Apparently all restaurants you can order a grilled cheese because it's not on the menu because it literally is two pieces of bread and cheese. Did they grill the bun like you asked? It looks toasted. It looks toasted on the inside but not on the outside at all. So this is their grilled cheese. Okay. Mm-mm. Strong. It's just hard. I think they're supposed to put it like some butter or something and like grill it. I think you have to like really ask for that. Just I replay the tape. I asked for grilled cheese multiple times. I, I explained it. Butter. Just uh, two buns and some cheese. So grilled cheese. This is a fail. I I do not like this food hack. So here's the steamed bun, you guys. This is the reg bun. This is the steamed bun. It's like bloated. Okay. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna see if it tastes better. Oh, so you're just supposed to get a cheeseburger with steamed buns. That's the hack? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't taste of, I see consistency. It's just like fluffier. It's fluffier. You don't love it. I think it's good, but I, it's not. I love the old school burger the best. So for the McGangbang, it is a McChicken and a cheeseburger. So I'm just gonna take the steamed bun cheeseburger and then you put, oh, maybe they did it. They killed it. Okay, so so this is a McChicken with a grilled patty on the bottom, huh. also known as the McGangbang. And ordering a McGangbang was very uncomfortable for me. The, um, Gangbang. Yeah, because what if she just misheard me? All right, I'm gonna go for it. Mm. Mm. It's weird. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna say it. It reminds me of Burger King's chicken sandwich. <gasps> in a good way? In a bad way? Yeah, in a good way. No. What meal is exists where there's beef and chicken together? Cordon Bleu? Gumbo? Yeah, if you do beef and chicken gumbo. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's next? I think that's it, right? That's it. Oh, no. no, you gotta go back. We have to go back. Ooh, for the for the finale. The big one. So I missed two items, so we're gonna try to get it right this time. Okay, can I do um, a milkshake with vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry? Uh, you want all three flavors, right? Yes, please. And can I get two chocolate chip cookies? and an Oreo McFlurry. Thank you. You're welcome, 784. So for the grand finale, we have two last desserts. I'll let you do the Oreo one since I already did an Oreo. This is yummy. Mm, mm, mm. It tastes like a malt milkshake. Oh my God, Erin, this is so good. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, that is so good. Oh my God, this is so good. The hack might just be get a strawberry milkshake. Mm -hmm. This might be my favorite hack. Me too. Combo. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Okay, moving on to our final, final, final food combination. So the final hack is putting a blob of a blob a hack blob of McFlurry in between the two chocolate chips. That looks good. Does it look good though? You could do more. I would go bigger. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, going in. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
crunchy. Mm -hmm. The cookies are too hard. They have to be fresh and they have to be warm. Mm. I think the heart makes all the insides gush out and then it's hard to get a good bite with a nice ratio of cookie to Oreo with Flurry. That was kind of a fail. Sorry. Only because your cookies were so wrong. So Lauren and I are blood sugars through the roof. Oh. <laughs> so let us know if you've tried any of these McDonald's fast food hacks before if there are other hacks that we missed that we should try. We if there are ways to do them better, like yeah. the warm cookie thing. Yeah, how do we elevate mm. our hack game for the next video? And if you like this video, should we do this at other restaurants, other fast food chains? Um, should we join a gym? What was your favorite hack? Oh, um, I don't know. I really liked the Neapolitan, Neapolitan? Ice, ice cream. Yeah, I think so too. I, I mean, I don't know if you call that a hack, more like a food combination, but I liked your ketchup hack. Oh, that's right. No, that's a real hack. Bending back the thing, because that was like, you could, it's all in one, one, one hand. You can fry and dip all in one hand. That's a hack. I'm so high right now. Guys, like, we are like, really, let's go. Let's go. I feel so freaking high. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't leave yet. No, Lauren. Also follow Lauren on Instagram <laughs> because she does hilarious sketch comedy over there. I'm actually kind of wish I lock the doors. I think I should lock the doors. No, you chose this life. You guys, we'll see you back next time. <laughs> don't break my car.